That's you know. how you jam. And it, exactly if you're uh, if you're the sort of person that has fun with numbers, zero one zero G banger is now lined up. Let, let your imagination with those numbers. She is double fist pumping some positive uh, love coming from the crowd. And you see that she seems to be leaning in. She's keen and ready, trying to push a gap through the Adelaide's blocker line. She's doing a pretty good job. Oh, Adelaide she's, giving she's her a run. She's finding those two Adelaide's at the front, and then she's, they're making her earn it. Trixie Beltham and Blue Renegade absolutely double teaming G Banger. G Banger pushing through. And uh, you'll see the Philistines being pushed back multiple times. No pack called, and, and there she goes. She's through again, but the Philistine made it through. It looks like G Bang is waiting to call it off, and, and there it is. The it. two, the two thrust towards the hip. Some Smart very clear nice. calling there. Mr. W, what do you make of it so far? Well, I think it's pretty impressive. Make no mistake, she's called it up. Number 138. Now, I, this is, I must admit, a bit of a derby crush here. Right. Swish Caraboom. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it with me. Swish Caraboom. Yeah. Versus Kit Kat uh, Crunch. I see the alliteration there. Yeah, yeah the alliteration. That she laid it on. The crisp Kit Kat Crunch sound. I think she took the K off cat for, uh, for political reasons, perhaps. Just to not be political. Maybe so. Kit Kat. Doing a, doing a really good and job. Swish Caraboom. She's getting smashed at the back of the pack by the Adelaide four wall. Both blockers doing that that tiptoe push, you know, that tiptoe scrum. Just Yeah, really just trying to push the, the line forward. Swish Caraboom, a big shoulder into the front of one of the Adelaide's there. Both jammers getting knocked out of play and needing to back all the way up to yield to their blocker, but it is Swish Caraboom. Swish Caraboom, lead jammer. Lead jam. And Kit Kat Crunch, she's about a lap behind. She gets out of the pack as Swish Caraboom re-enters. She's following in behind Berserker with the whip. Adelaide is too slow to reform. Swish Caraboom straight through for a hit it and quit it. One quick hand ripping on the back of Berserker's shirt to give her that extra momentum through the pack. I've noticed that um, Victoria are certainly a premier team. Uh, and, it, and there's a lot of physical communication in the pack. They're always, always touching, always knowing, always pulling, always pushing. You know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of information passing around the pack and that totally, totally gives them tools against other teams. So for the other ladies, we've got Blue Renegade lined up against Mad Mallorina. 505 for the VRDL. Now just a little bit of a note, Mad Mallorina's got uh, experience as a, as a figure skater before she joined into Derby. Does she pirouette at any point? Yeah, she, I, I'm pretty sure she competed as a figure skater and you'll see it in some of the spins that she does when she gets hit. I've seen some very nice, uh, ad advantageous spinning this weekend, that's for sure. Uh, the footwork this weekend's been amazing. Agreed. And it looks like Renegade's still caught in the pack. Blue Renegade caught at the back of the pack. Mad Mellorina catching up to her. Mad Mellorina hitting to the outside and cutting back in. She seems to be using a bit of duking methods to oh. try to get through rather than contact. Absolutely, she's all over the track. She's trying to fake him out. Blue Renegade absolutely having trouble, and there she is. 505. Mad Melarina taking it easy. Blue Renegade trying to find the outside of the pack, but she just finds a three wall of VRDL girls at the front of the pack. Mad Mel hedging her bets and going around again. Ren still having trouble. See, Blue Renegade is, um, she's a bucket rocket. She's one of Adelaide's Ooh, number 24. Ruby Wood Crusher drops a firm hit into her chest. Right into her chest. I think I saw a whole lot of pain on her face after that one. She's yeah. working hard and getting a hit at that point in the gems. Just the VRDL yeah. blockers at the front of the pack there are really doing some damage. Absolutely. So it's got to be soul crushing. And at the moment, you can see the other ladies seem to be slowing it down so that they can attempt to get Blue Renegade to push the wall forward out of play. There's a high hit. Go, go, fiasco. Smacking Mad Malarina in the neck. And she's unhappy about that. She's really holding onto her throat. But you look at the shape of Go, go, fiasco. She's got to be six it's foot one. At Def least. And an extra half a foot from skate. That's exactly right. And so, yeah, uh, shouldering someone. She's going to have to get anyways. really low into a derby stance to easy. get that. The advantage of that sort of height is that you can usually get a lot of power out of this stride. It's a lot bigger. Watch out for your shoulders. That 
seemed to be a long jam, a lot of hustle there by Blue Renegade. Just as a just as a recap, VRDL in blue at 42 points. ADRD on zero at the moment. Yet to get onto the board. The Philistine aforementioned top jammer for this weekend. Let's see if she can change it up. G Banger seems to be positionally blocking herself. Uh, blocking the Philistine off the line, yes. stepping in front of her. Absolutely. And she seems happy to, G-Bangers seem to be happy to try to feed the blocker to her, uh, to feed the opposition jammer to her blockers. It looked that way. Uh, Philistine's done a bit of positioning work herself. See, she, direct, uh, so she directed Philistine in the way that she wanted her to go, into, the, into the blockers, and Absolutely. then used the inside route herself. These Victorians have got roller derby going on. You can't, you can't go letting the opposition choose your path for you. Absolutely. And there she is. And she, she makes it through fairly cleanly on that one. Grand slam, five points. G-Banger, the lead jammer. And G-Banger is the lead jammer. Go, go, fiasco. Back out on the track after a high hit. A little bit of a pile-up. Sneaker streaker hits the deck and is sent to the penalty box. Phyllis... The Philistine being harassed by Rocky Rogue. She's got a serious face on, ladies and gentlemen. I can see it. Oh, Cutting the track. Classic. The Philistine is sent, sent to the bin. And you notice G-Banger there just taking the corner, just skipping a whole section of track and landing within bounds. If you can't find a gap in the wall... Just jump it. Just, j just jump the edge of the yeah. track. Is that under it. Can't go over it. We've all heard the story. Yeah. Ladies doing all the blocking they can before they get called off for... Uh, and uh, another grand slam. At the moment, the points are ch chocking ladies up against Adelaide's. A costly jam for Adelaide. Now, G Bang is really... At the moment, the Victorian girls are slowing it down so that the Adelaide's get dragged out of play. G Bang is one to push those blockers as far as she can. Absolutely, this this pack is at an absolute standstill. It's oh, it's all right to G Bang, and there's a lot those hits. You can see Fury seems to be trying to bridge out so that her blockers are still in play. Smart, smart play there. And G Bang calls it off. Just some tiring hits. There's been so many games so far in this tournament. Everyone's starting to feel it. I think I'm seeing. Girls skate, We've leaning on their knees, you know, I can see that tired sensation sneaking earlier and earlier in the bouts. We're only 10 minutes into the first period and already I'm seeing Still girls, 20 minutes in the first half you know, wincing from the endurance. And at the moment you can see Kitty decapitate lined up for the power jam. <laughs> Having and said that, she looks ready to run, you know, a marathon. She, I think she can run for at, at least another 50 minutes. Absolutely. We which is lucky, because that's what's left in the period. Here she goes, feeling her way through the pack. She is your lead jammer in another power jam situation for VRDL. Quick and update, VRDL 73 on ADR 0. Philistine's just come out of the penalty bin, and she's re-entered the pack. And being harassed already by the Victorian girls. She, you can see she wants a little scrolling for a solution. To Kitty, the, Kitty decapitate, just gliding through as much as she can. You can see her powering it. Uh, powering along the straights and just gliding into those corners. Ooh, Trixie oh, Borden throwing herself at Kitty Decapitate, unable to make a mark. The and Philistine's still struggling. And you see the little, of the little skip and a hop on the corner there? Absolutely. Just, just a tiny little skip and a hop just to make that gap. And there's Kitty. Ooh, taking And there. she's been two nice Adelaide's in a row and dodges the third hit. Nice whip. And just propped up that little bit as she gets out of the pack. And given another grand slam. At the moment, it's pretty difficult for the Adelaide's out there. The, the Victorian walls are just so strong. BB Bombshell, triple six for the Victorian Royal Baby League. Absolutely, right absolutely pounding people at will. Triple six. Triple six. I, I enjoy that number. Family, family of yours, huh? <laughs> Darren Razzle from Adelaide on the mic with Son of Skaten. Feeling at home nice with Triple Six, BB Bombshell, and her, you know, penchant for violence. The, the, the Philistines still having a bit of trouble getting through for that initial pass, and Kitty Decapitate just, it's, it's almost turned into speed skating for her. She's trying to get as many laps in as she can. Well, there's 10 seconds left in this jam, and I wonder how many points she's racked up so far. I, I wonder if she can, in the next three, three seconds, still make some more points. 
And it looks like she got one. She's caught it up. Now this, this seems to be uh, a little bit demoralizing for the Adelaide's at the moment. They were 10 minutes in. You know, it's funny. A moment ago, it was it was a bit of a butt whipping. Uh, but like, you know, uh, there's a moment when the when the air goes out. It, there's an exhale, you know, and it's like, okay, yeah, so 10 minutes in, 98 to zero. Yeah. It's, that's uh, that's the scoreline. They're gonna have some scrambling to do, <laughs> just to get points on the board at this point. Unfortunately, they're really getting a difficult run. You know, and I'm just gonna put it out there. When they do put points on the board, you hear the roar. With that said, Swish Karaboom being held wonderfully at the back of the pack, and then we have our and what are anybody saying it? Here we go. The other ladies, first lead, Gemma, coming out of the pack. Number 22, Fury Fenrir, getting an almighty roar from the home crowd. And Swish Karaboom ch trying to chase her down about half a lap behind. You can see the VRDL girls getting to the front of the pack. They don't want any of their points wasted. They're not going to give them away. Fury, hungry for a few. She must be on the board. Pulling it off. And she gets two. She gets two. That's the points on... That's points on the board for Adelaide. The home crowd absolutely stoked. Fury and Fenrir and her two points on the board. That's the morale, that may be the morale boost that they need to get back in this. I'm so glad that my negative exhale moment has washed over into a sea of positivity. So oh, I've literally got goosebumps. Like, I do too. People, people, people say it as a, as a, like a metaphor, like a, like a cliche, true. but I actually have goosebumps. The people, this many people cheering. Amazing. Uh, and there we go. Kit Kat Crunch number nine for the Adelaide's. Playing subordinate role to 505. And uh, you can see the Adelaide is following out Mad Malarina from the pack. You, at the moment, you can see the VRDL girls scrambling to get to the front. They don't want to be the points at the back, the ones that are easily picked off. Axis of Yvonne takes a seat for VRDL. Mad Malarina going into the pack and calling it off, trying to get two, only gets one. Holding Kit Kat Crunch two, down to nothing. She goes the safe option, gets the one point, and calls it off. Oh, I know. G Banger on the line. Did I just see a jammer hustle out to the jammer line, Is even before putting her panty on, and hold a spot? Was she trying to hold a spot for her blockers? She's got a favourite spot. But, but it was on the wrong side of the jammer. Yeah, yeah. She's just waiting for the for the blockers to get into position. That's right. That's right. That is. Uh, that's, that's good. And G Banger first and forcing her way through a gap but tripping oh. over and going down big. 38. Looks like she had number 11 sitting on top of her, which is Killer Kazi. But I, I'm seeing 38 oh, Bone Shaker being taken out for a trip. And, and G Banger 0 and 0. She's your lead jammer. Oh, uh, Sneak a streak out oh. trying to force into those that VRDL wall at the front of two. Tetanus. Super Look. big hit from Berserker, again showing how she throws down. Berserker trying to slow her down. You can see as she hits, she's plowing it's deep to pack. slow that pack down. Look you can see the booty control, putting sneak streaks to the floor. Berserker getting sent Bez off. They're blocking out of play. The bridge failed as uh, Rocky Road got pulled back into the pack. The tricky Bolton taking a seat for reasons unknown. G Banger and Sneaker Streaker both moving with quite a bit of pace with a tiny little pack out there. Two on two. Right? Three on two. Axis of Yvonne back out of the naughty box. It's G Banger lining up for a few extra points before Sneaker Streaker comes around and G Banger calls it off. Sliding through and smashing her hips with the calling it off sim uh, signal. Hey, my headphones just had an upgrade. Whatever cable you wiggled, don't Hello. wiggle it again. Uh, it was probably just m my legs shaking under the table. <laughs> this is exciting <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Excellent. And Kitty, Kitty and decapitate lined up against Fury of FEMA again. Fury of Fenrir, the uh, Adelaide scorer. The one responsible yeah, for the two points on the board and, and all the positivity in the room for Adelaide so far. Like, yeah, it looks like it's been called timeout. An official timeout for the referees there. 13 minutes, 41 seconds remaining. Victoria dropping a knee. And uh, no, seems to be called back underway again, straight away. Mustn't have been a big issue, just a small thing. Just a, just just, a wee just issue. I need to catch my breath. Yeah, yeah. Sure, that's, that's fair the enough. The excitement is high. Well, the pack's been moving very oh, fast. Look at that. Those outside pack reps have got to be tired. That is incredible that 
positional blocking from blockers in Jammer or Light from VRDO on the Jammer line at that point was just sensational, opening up an inside line for Kitty Decapitate as she just strolled on through. And I think she uh, baked a rack of cupcakes while she was there. And you can see BB Bombshell seems to have lost a toe stop. No, somebody's lost Someone's something. Someone's lost a toe stop. Pack oh, it seems to be the Jammer. I think it seems to be the Jammer for the Adelaide's. Absolutely it seems to be right. Furies on her right foot. I think a... Uh, Kane and her jam ref seems to be looking at her skates. Yeah, you notice that Kitty Decapitate seems to be slowing down the jammer. She seems to be preparing herself for a hit. She's and she's got Berserker. Berserker. Yeah, Berserker to catch her instead. She's In she's traded three, spaces. Was that was a wonderful was play awesome. by Gemma. That was amazing. For Gemma to go from point scorer to defensive player. But, I mean, for the for the Gemma to be aware that it was Berserker's turn to get up, she's she's keeping an eye on the penalty box. Well, we noticed this before that Kitty decapitates awareness of the of the bench uh, when she called off the jam with 10 seconds and the other Gemma in the bin, just trying to make sure that they kept that's one Gemma on. That's good form, but I've seen that before. Like you must have seen that before. Yeah, definitely have. But, but then but knowing that, sort that a block is coming out, so you can just feed her off, feed the opposing Gemma off to your blocker. That, that's sweet. It, it's unique stuff. Okay, but like I said, very aware. Very aware. Yeah, brilliant yeah, awareness. Full marks for awareness. I find like VRDO, they've got some sweet moves, but it's that they're just super attentive to the minor details. Mm. And that trust as well. She just, she oh, had yeah. trust saying that I know that Berserker can hold her. I think this is the Out of the moment, you can see Swish Karaboom taking a beating. And it looks like Blue Renegade chasing her down. Blue Renegade, you see the speed on her. She's right down low, pushing as hard as she can. She wants to catch up with Swish Karaboom, player of a similar stature. And the pack seems to be speeding up as both sets of teams try to get to the front of the pack. Ren Don't want to give any points right away. The lead. Yeah, Blue Renegade, what's she going to do? Can she get there? Both Swish Karaboom. Calamity Mame, a bit, having a bit of a slide out as she hit the pack. Trying to score a point and call it off. And that was one point each. Adelaide's come away with... Two, it looks like. No, two points each. <laughs> Lots of excitement from the Adelaide crowd. VRDL, 117 points to Adelaide. Four points. All proud. Each, each point for Adelaide came with weight. And we still have 11 minutes in this period. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing uh, VRDL... Play Sunstate, who I hope get through their, uh, through, their next Well, I, I honestly, I've, they've played a, a couple of times. Uh, mm -hmm. Last uh, last time the Great Southern Slam, it was a point in it uh, and between them, and it was one jam at the end. And all she had to do was pass two blockers that were there, and they, she, you could see the frustration. It went for the full two minutes, and she couldn't pass those two blockers. One blocker to draw and go into one more jam, and the second blocker to get for the win. And, uh, and since then, the VRDL have travelled up and uh, played uh, SSRG on their own terms. That's right, and I think they won. They, they won by about yeah. 30 points, I think. Yeah. I remember watching it on DNN. What a wonderful network. What a wonderful network. DNN for all your derby needs. For all those people that say Adelaide's just too far to travel to. Which, you know... It could, it could be. There could be oceans between you and us it right depends, now. It depends what you're travelling for. You know, Adelaide has an incredible derby uh, community. For a city of its size, constantly pulling massive crowds of over, you know. See Mad Malarina at the moment going through with a grand slam. Yeah, over 1,500 people. We, we really do rock it for a small city. You've got Sneaky Streaker trying to catch up to the pack now. Mad Malarina getting a little bit of uh, bump and grind from the Adelaide's blockers. And out she goes. And is she, is she able, is she, can she see Sneaker Streaker coming through with her? Mosquito doing a great job for the Adelaide's against Ma Mad Malarina and Sneaker Streaker right behind her. Both jammers looking tired, really. Four apiece, Mad Malarina looking over her shoulder, keeping an eye on Sneaky Streaker. And you notice the VRDL girls, once again, they seem to be going to the front of the pack, not willing to give their points away. If you're sitting at the back, you're the first points to be lost. And Mad Mal picks another and calls it off. And yeah, she, she gets zero. None. She doesn't seem to be too impressed about getting nothing out of it. She absolutely wanted a, a point or two for that one, but her jam ref, Dave, okay, feels the other way. G-Banger quick to the line for the Victorian Robert Wallaby League. League and Kit Kat Crunch laying up for Adelaide. Kit Kat Crunch. Kit Kat Crunch. Victoria, we're just trying to suss... Uh, Husky. Kit Kat Crunch. Kit Kat Crunch. 
For Block is bad, ladies. Two Adelaide's for right now, Victoria. All three Berserkers oh. taking the track. These girls into double digits, please. <laughs> you, got Kit -Kat Crunch you can hear the support Adelaide. from the local crowd probably feeding Look through our the microphones. The They're guys. cheering and going That's wild trying to get doubles. Adelaide's up on the board. Absolutely. I That's think I can hear the in-house announce louder than myself. <laughs> of course, and there she is. The voice in my head. I can't hear. I can barely hear anything over the crowd as Kit Kat Kit Crunch, Kit Crunch is your lead, lead jammer and, and incredibly excited. And G Banger screaming about it as she gets through. She's thinking that she got out first. Absolutely, she is working hard to and reclaim her position. She is going to hunt her down by the look of it. VRDL getting back to the front of the pack. Kit Kat Crunch doing the right thing and calling it off before losing any points. Yep. Zero zero. No points. Smart derby for Adelaide, but. Adel Adelaide's have got a hard choice when VRDL start running for the front. They can either speed up the pack and try to outrun their own jammers, getting fatigued, and at this point when they're behind, it's going to be a difficult thing if you start Absolutely. if you start fatiguing your jammers to catch points. But they can't sit at the back and just give them away either. No, no sir. Skate Bush, number 45, a name I was impressed with last TGSS, lines up against Fury of Fenrir, one of our few point scorers at this stage. You see Calamity Mame really leaning over so that... Uh, with number 37 Gateway won't, girl. won't stand up into her. She's positionally blocking her off the line. Again, the RDL's positioning and the the tactical maneuvers are yeah, if very polished. So if, if they're taking a knee beside them and they lean over them, they've chosen their specific spots and you can't step into the other person's space. Oh, Fury Fenrir taking a big hit from Triple Six. Your, uh, your family, Baby Bombshell. bombshell. Not happy about the call. Skate Bush with Lee Jam powering around those corners. The pack moving quite fast. An agile skater with a, a wide gate, a wide stride, really making the most of it. Cuts into that, ladies, and at calls the, it off. At the moment, there's only it's a thin, thin blocking field. It only had uh, Rocky Rogue and Calamity Mame on track. Skate Bush, Bush picking up three more points for VRDL. I must say, I'm pretty excited to see Swish Caribou and once again, the versus uh, in Sneaker, Sneaker Streaker. Sneaker Streaker lining up for Adelaide. Once again, it's, it's a little bit more red out there than blue. It is three Adelaide blockers to the Five two VRDL team players. A lot of hustle, a lot of bustle. Sneaker Streaker with a gap. Can't get through that Calamity Mame. Blue. Calamity Mame pushing makes the most of on into the blocker. Oh, a really nice, a really nice push from Gogo Fiasco onto Philistine to try and get Carol Boom on the floor, but did not work out. Sneaker Streak is still having trouble with the white and blue blockers for VRDL. Whenever the blocker gets pushed out, they seem to switch around. They're just really waterfalling. Number four, Calamity Main taking a seat in the penalty box. Once, once again, it's still red dominated out there at the moment. Sneaker Streaker breaks free from the pack, but it's Good Calamity Main really in control right now. I mean, Swish Caraboom, excuse me very much. Uh, she notices Streaker having to go at the back of the pack and, and calls it off. Calls she just waited till she was close to her home bench so that to call it off. There's a cocky air of a lead jammer knowing so the subordinate jammer is about got control, to get back yeah. yeah, honey, have a go. Uh, just skate harder. Sorry. Just skate that little bit and faster. now it's off. Yeah. yeah it's it's the face I recognise. Kit Kat Crunch Jesus lining up for the Adelaide's with a full pack now. of blockers. And it seems to be a timeout called. Uh, it's a VRDL timeout. Each, each team gets oh, three timeouts, if timeouts are even that lasting one minute. Darren Russell on the mic. I'm a Adelaide local, and I just want to welcome everyone in the world to Adelaide right now for the Great Southern Slam 2012. Adelaide Baller Derby League, absolutely ecstatic to have everyone in our home city. I'm happy to be here, I'll tell you that. I am happy to have you here, son of Skaden. I've been sleeping on his couch for the last couple of days. Skate at Satan's couch. No, yours. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> once again, yeah, totally. Everyone. I was wondering what that patch was. <laughs> Good old-fashioned missionary style world derby start. And here we are. It seems the timeout seems to be over already. Mad Mallorina lined up against Kit Kat Crunch. 
three blockers for Victorian roller derby. I don't think I've seen a full blocking. This, this is the most they've had for a while. Mm. Usually one of them gets sent off pretty quickly. Kit Kat Crunch with some nice dance moves at the back of the line there, showing her a sense of humour despite the scoreline. I would, to be honest, I wouldn't mind seeing the penalties board and seeing how many penalties have been cho chopped up at the moment by the VRDL girls. This It could come into uh, play later on in the game. Mad Mel Arena out like a light? No. Off like That's a right, rocket? Really <laughs> Off like a rocket. There we go. Sana, there we Sana go. Clayton coming through on the commentator tips. She is your lead jammer approaching and the back of the pack. Kick out crunch. About half a lap behind at the moment as Mad Melarina gets in. Really using her weight to push those blockers around. Miss World. And it looks like she's yeah. Mad Melarina's calling. No, it looks like she's been called for a forearm major. Tries to call it off she and has to make a lap around. Before she gets sent off. So Interesting. Go, it's Kit Kat Crunch making some points now. Well, well, let's, uh, let's see how the VRDO girls try to run away with it while the other ladies are trying to hold Rocky Road back. This little water made making the most of Rocky Road. A minute left in this jam. Let's see if the Adelaide's can come away with some points. Kit Kat Crunch approaches the back of the pack and another VRDO blocker getting sent off. As, as Calamity Mame comes on, Rocky Road goes off. Still three blockers. Kit Kat Crunch getting the royal treatment by the VRDO blockers. Hot Rod Stacy really giving it to her at the back there. Kick. A low block, I believe, from a VRDO. Back down to two. Blocker, back down to two. Let's see what Kit Kat can do. Ooh. Oh, there she goes. She's Kit Kat there. makes it through. That's five points for Adelaide. Sneaking it through. Clemeny Mame seems to be, be out there by herself. Berserker and hits the bin and has to re-enter behind the pack as she's now in queue. Berserker fresh off the penalty box wants a piece of Kit Kat Crunch. She didn't even get in the box. She went through and it was full and she has to wait for her own spot now. My lord, that is a pile of naughtiness, a, a notable pile of naughtiness on the Victorian side. It definitely are, at the moment, milking those penalties. There, there's barely any blue on the track. It looks to me like some... But unfortunately, Kit Kat Crush has been sent off. Some strategic blocking from Calamity Main yielded Kit Kat Crunch. Uh, she, uh, you know, help us. She didn't yield to a blocker and sent to the bin. It looks like she got called for not yielding. Uh, and it looks like, sure looks like Rocky Rogue's standing, which means that Berserk is going to take a seat, leaving one blocker on the track for VRDL. I cannot wait to see the miners board. At the moment, she's just, at the moment, because G-Bang is out there jamming, she's just there to break holes in walls. She doesn't even have to block. Is this a um, a strategy? E Yvonne of Axis is out there just purely to assist her jammer at the moment. <laughs> she's through. Adelaide did all they could. This is a very minimalist derby. G-Bang uh, out of the gate. She is a lead jammer in this power jam situation. Uh, Blue Renegade takes a seat for a blocking infringement. Both, and both teams are running on minimalist, two, two minimalist it's, look. It's, uh, it's like street street derby. They're, they're just two on two, Here street derby. Oh no, it's three on two. We've got another. The Victoria oh, it's three on three, Victoria watch out. If this keeps up, we may have full teams it might from both be, sides. might even be regulation. Yeah, Holy cow. Maybe, uh, do you want me to just get off the mic for a little while, just so it's sort of even, you know? Yeah, yeah, we, we could take timeouts as well. Yeah. It's, uh, I feel like we're, we're going to outnumber them in a minute. Kick out Crunch standing and up on her skates. Seconds it looks left. Looks like Jubanger's been called for the cut. Yeah, just, just as Berserker and Kit Kat Crunch come on, Jubanger leaves. Kit Kat Crunch jamming for the Adelaide. And it's an Adelaide turn. She pushes through. It's amazing. An Adelaide pushes through a Victorian Roller Derby League. Uh, Blocker Raw, uh, here she comes up to the back of the pack with 40 seconds left in this jam. To wonder Steele on the bench, giving her the keep going motion. Go. Don't stop. Oh, oh, keep keep right. Cutting the track. Sent off. If there's any subcontractors listening on DNN, can you please install a revolver, ro uh, re revolving door? Hang on, I can talk, I promise. Son revolving door into the sin bin. Because as soon as one leaves, one goes out. As long as G Banger was in there. G Banger back on the track. This is. Kit Kat Crunch releases G Banger. And because G Banger didn't wait very long, Kit Kat Crunch comes straight back out again. I feel like I'm going crazy. I, I, I honestly, uh, from this point of view, I can't see the penalties board, but I'm very interested. Very. I'm very interested to see how many have chopped up. In an earlier game, Pirate City, three people ejected. 
from the game. <laughs> Multi New Zealanders. Yeah, no, two two people from New Zealand, I think, and one from uh, uh, Sydney Assassins. Yeah, right. It was a very rough game. I thought you meant three from the same team. No, no, three three over the whole game, which is still pretty big. Sneaker streaker lining up for the Adelaide. He's opposing yeah, like he Kitty decapitate some, uh, for Victoria. It's a three-on-three three blocking situation, and oh. everyone's everyone's Sorry. bracing themselves. It looks like an 80s film clip. And they've, they they the seem to be going with a slightly slower derby. No, nope. official timeout's called. Official timeout. You can see the sugar bowl. Adam Wheels, the official wheel of Woofter and Team USA, Novesto Sport. Manufacturer of the Adam family of roller derby products is united with Jackson Ultima, a world leading in inline, ice, and roller skate products. Learn more about Jackson and exciting new Adam products at nistebousa.com. Huh? Yeah, very good. You've impressed me. I'm, I'm sure that there's a link as well somewhere on, on, the, on the DNN site so that you can have a look. If you're enjoying today's coverage of TGSS on DNN, please consider contributing to support this community broadcast. Lots of exciting Australian-themed premium items for all contributors. Go to DNN homepage or the TGSS live page on DNN and hit the Contribute button to learn more. Every little bit you can spare helps us bring you Derby from around the globe. Believe that. I've seen Help Hurt, the Derby community. Hurt Reynolds, Merciless, working their little tushies off all weekend here in Adelaide. And I just want to say a big thank you very much they those crew bringing the heavies from DNN down into Adelaide to, you know, to broadcast this incredible tournament to the world. And the official timeout's over and the whistle's gone. At the moment, Kitty decapitates in the middle of the pack, taking some hits from some Adelaide's. Sneaker Streaker doing her best at the back against the Steve. Brown White. Oh! The Adelaide's punishing Kitty decapitate. Killer Kazi sinking a big hit into Kitty Decapitate, but it does not hold her back. She's your lead jammer. She spins out of the, spins from the hit. I don't know whether it was voluntary or not. Triple six, BB Bombshell taking another seat. I think it was for a high block on Killer Kazi, Kitty's punisher. A bit of a revenge hit, maybe. And she didn't get away with it. Kitty Decapitate, clean around the outside, picking out another four points for that lady for the Victorian roller derby. Not so much like Kit Kat Crunch Adelaide. still caught at the back, uh, within the pack. I think, not sne Sneaker Streaker. Son of oh, Skaden. Oh, my bad. Yeah, it's like, uh, well, it's sort of part of the, part of the namesake, really. <laughs> sneaker Streaker is a strong skater. Jenny. She's really just getting held down by these Victorian Kitty blockers. Kitty takes a hit from 37 Gateway Girl for the Adelaide's and, and is <laughs> slides nearly out to the suicide line on that one. And another Gatey versus Gatey versus Kitty. Kitty shaking her shoulders. She's not going to let it happen again. No, sir. Kitty and decapitate. Again. Shake and bake. Off for another round. Sneaky Streaker having trouble still at the back of the pack. At the moment, she's uh, she's getting punished by Rocky Rogue, one of the one of the yeah, really good defenders. She's one of the best defenders for VRDL. Absolutely, and again, Kitty Decapitate making uh, light work yeah, of the Adelaide's blocker line, sneaking straight past Gateway Girl, and she calls it off. When you're jamming, coming up against BB Bombshell and Rocky Rogue as a wall, that's going to be, be something to make your teeth rattle. I don't want a piece of that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to be there. I think I broke a bone thinking about it. <laughs> 